praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read 1 corinthians chapter 11 from the king james version bible imitate me just as i also imitate christ principles of public prayer now i praise you brethren that you remember me in all things and keep the traditions as i delivered them to you but i want you to know that the head of every man is christ the head of women is man and the head of christ is god every man praying or prophesying and also having his head covered dishonors his head but every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head for that is one and the same as if her head were shaved for if a woman is not covered let her also be shown but if it is shameful for a woman to be shown or shaved let her be covered for a man indeed ought not to cover his head since he is image and glory of god but women is the glory of man for man is not from women but women from man nor was man created for the women but women for the man for this reason the women ought to have a symbol of authority on her head because of the angels nevertheless neither is man independent of women nor women independent of man in the lord for as the women was from the man even so man also is through the women but all things are from god judge among yourselves is it proper for a woman to pray to god with her head uncovered does not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair it is a dishonor to him but if a woman has long hair it is a glory to her for a hair is given to her for a covering but if any one seems to be contentious we have no one no such custom nor do the churches of god rebuke of disorders at the lord's supper now in giving these instructions i do not praise you since you came together not for the better but for the worse for first of all when you came when you come together as a church i hear that there are divisions among you and in part i believe it for there must also be factions among you that those who are approved may be recognized among you therefore when you come together in one place it is not to eat the lord's supper for in eating each one takes his own supper ahead of others and one is hungry and another is drunk what do you not have houses to eat 
and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. For I receive from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whatever, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord is in an unworthy manner, will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat the of that bread and drink of that cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, nor discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are contended by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment, and the rest I will set in order when I come. Amen. May God bless the reading. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.